15 January reading with me. So I just want to take a moment in time to reflect on the fact that we have moved into 2015 or that we will be about to. I'm uploading this in December and I've contemplated for quite some time on on how it is I've wanted to do the readings because I've sort of I feel to myself that the the way we bring in the new year is quite potently important. It's the thoughts and feelings and actions that we have around the cusp of the new year that relay back a lot to us and how our year is going to move forward. So I feel it's extremely important to have the correct intention as you move into 2015. You know, and harness the thoughts such as success and get out there and create what it is you want dream big be the person that you're that you're wanting to be start your journey for 2015 with with some fire and enthusiasm because it's your year is shaped primarily by you your thoughts and your actions so i do honestly believe that old saying um you know, when you see a New Year's Eve and you make New Year's resolutions, although most of us don't stick to our resolutions because we often make them too difficult to stick to, if you make your resolutions a little bit easier, uh, slightly smaller, you know, like small jumps one at a time, they're generally easier to uh, bring into your life and to focus on and to enjoy achieving. So this month we're going to be doing four cards the two cards, the first two cards are going to rep represent the first half of the month and the second two cards will represent the second half of the month. And then I'll do two little extra things at the end of the reading for you. So Leo, what do we see for you for January? Let's take a look at what the cards are going to show up for us. Page of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Two of Cups, and Five of Pentacles. So we're breaking the month into two, and this is status quo, so the top half is the beginning of the month. Let's see, the pay, no major arcanas for you this time, so it's perhaps a month more where you are able to um, just move along at a lighter level without sort of too much soul searching or, or, or deep contemplative issues coming up. The Page of Pentacles is um, an instigator of newness. It, they're often young people that can come into your life too in one way or another. So this there could be situations that surround youth, it could be family members or it could be a youthful person in your life or again it could even be you and your energy. There's a lot of positivity in the Page of Pentacles. They great yellow sunshine feeling around that positive movement of support from the universe and new propositions and often it can be around career or finances as we see here because there's the um, pentacle sign that he's offering out. This can be a, an indication that you're literally being uh, supported well in your current career or you have the opportunity to apply for new jobs and do well in interviews or even be offered a new job. Thoughts of new career possibilities or changing direction in your job as well. So that all those areas and realms of newness. Now when we see the Queen of Swords here, still for the first part of January, she's much more of a um, stiff person as a way of wording her. She's quite forthright. She can be um, a little brittle with the way she um, puts words out. So. If, she come, if you come across this particular lady in January, she can be very useful because she can be, um, even in her dictatorial manner, she can have quite logical or sound reasoning. So sometimes she has really good points of value that are worth listening to. So don't be put off perhaps by her manner. See what you can glean from her. So she can be a useful ally to have as well if she's on your side. She can be a person who would back you up and support you, also give you that nudge in going forward. Now this could also be you, Leo, because you have a little bit of that type of energy around you yourself. So it could just be this is your feeling for that month. You feel like you've got that sword in your hand, you've got um, yourself in the right position and you're ready to charge forward. The one thing that 
if this is you that it could suggest don't again don't push into arguments that you don't need to if there's any fiery energy around at the beginning of January you'd be better to sit in your chair like she is and just go yeah okay you have your say and I'll just let it go because some things aren't worth arguing about they can um spiral out of control when they need not you know that saying turning a molehill into a mountain so that's the that's one of the other things that you can be a bit careful of with her when when she's around the other thing is um she does bring in thoughts quite clear thoughts with um specific intention so again this could be you and you could have something in your mind that you're really clear on doing or a direction you want to go in and that could be worthy it could you could be getting clear signals and the pathway could open that takes you in the direction that you want to go so it could be a good time in the beginning of January for these new enterprises if you've got any on your mind when we move to the bottom half of January for you Leo we see um, the two of cups which is a beautiful card to receive in a reading it's you can just see it by looking at it it feels peaceful it feels in balance it feels in harmony you've got a support person there that cares and nurtures and is around you whether or not this is in um, a close romantic relationship or someone who just is your best friend or a family member who supports you with great love this is around for you it's a beautiful card and interestingly enough I don't see it come out that often so I feel it's quite special that it has turned up it's if you're seeking for new romance there's a possibility you might find someone who becomes this partner in your life you might feel this deep connection it's often the card that you can even refer to as this um, twin soulmate type feeling as well so there could be new romance that heralds this around for you or if you're in a committed relationship it shows that this relationship is beautiful and it's bound by some deep connection of love and your soul and feeling great support the other thing that it can suggest too if, if we look at any of the other realms even finances are steady and balanced if you like so not out of balance you've also got health that's possibly going smoothly along at this time even your spirituality so any of these concepts when this card is around are what we could consider a nicely balanced now if we come to this one which is next to it the five of pentacles it's quite an odd um, paradox going on here because they're almost the total opposite of each other so you go seem to go through a part of January where you get this beautiful smoothness and balance and then it's as if you might feel the complete opposite <coughs> excuse me but this is a very temporary measure this card and we can see that it's temporary or this energy is very temporary because these people are moving away and out of the feeling that they have and that's more what you have to address here a lot of this is what you imagine to be or what you feel is going on this this could give you the feeling that you've just lost this lovely close balance or support or nurturing or network or love but in reality you most likely haven't there could be something that crops up that either separates you from this um and the card has even moved itself slightly away that could separate you from this particular closeness for a period in time and you might panic about it and go oh my god I've, I've lost that person or or I can't connect with them or I haven't got that support mechanism but the, but in reality you need to just calm down and, and rethink about it and relook at things from a different perspective you can sometimes when this is around maybe feel a little bit of tightness of money so that last half of January you could see a tightening up of funds for one reason or another but again it's a transient period it's quite a swift moving through and if you don't focus on it and focus on the, the positives coming in again or the positives that have just been so surround yourself in positive thoughts you're soon walking away from all of this if you've got any health issues around you don't make a mountain out of a molehill again let it go so it's a little bit like her she seems to come almost back and just let things go in the end of January and, and say to yourself oh, everything moves on nothing remains the same 
if you get any of these slight doubtful feelings around you. Now what we're going to do now is look at a different set of cards. They're quite sort of personal and they can give some insights into our inner being, I guess you could call it. So we'll see what comes up for you there, Leo. We can just um, spread them out. The Angel of Joyfulness and the Goddess of Oneness. You actually got two that got picked out at once. The messages there say, something wondrous and magical is about to happen. That's one of those apex cards in this particular deck. And the other one is something you love or someone you love is thinking fondly of you at this moment. That was kind of the message to support this card here um, from the Tarot, the Five of Pentacles. It was suggesting don't ever feel alone because in reality you're not. There is always someone somewhere at some level that you can call on and there was that support person right there for you saying you don't need to worry you don't need to feel that you're alone remember to utilize your ability to connect with your spiritual helpers or your guardian angel or someone around you that can actually help you and if any of you have um, a person who has passed over that you have been really dearly connected to or fond of it could be a friend or a parent or a sibling they are actually in spirit at this point in time just wishing to pass their love on to you and say that they watch over you and often we get messages like this around about this um, Christmas time because it's that period where we do extend ourselves out to our families and we're often in the gift of just giving love so that's a beautiful message there for you Leo for any of you that have been seeking to know um, or hear messages from the spirit world from people who have passed over that you love. Now this one is basically the card of manifestation. It's talking about something in your life is about to blossom and flourish. And at the top half of January we had that feeling of creativity and newness coming in. And it sounds like it's being really backed up by universal gift of support for you and making sure that it's going to flow through and happen so good luck with all that Leo that sounds quite exciting and um, adventurous I think now just we'll go to the last part which is the higher vibrational energy cards for you all and we'll see what turns up here and dolphin intention hmm. again we're coming back really quite strong messages for you about your thinking and don't don't let yourself think along the wrong lines it's the very intention that we have is what eventually establishes us into the path that we are going so if you place your thoughts in the right direction with the right intention you are creating your own future or your your life so it's your intention that you set out that you put out around you that you deliver that heads off into the universe that carries you who you are and where you're going so cancer if we think about intention as being the thoughts this is coming in here right up at the mind and the heart chakra the energy that you put into your intention or your thoughts is, as I say, what's going to be your future. You clearly define yourself and your future by your thoughts and your own intention. So this higher vibrational energy wants you to experience love, joy and success. Therefore, visualize yourself and your, you know, your future life in gratitude joyously experiencing the outcome of your intention this is exactly the way we all need to address moving forward in in the way that we dream we want to live so it's a wonderful prospect for you it's a, it's here for you in january they're giving you support to actually do that and focus on those positives and and dreams things that you desire in life 
So that's a really neat reading, and thank you for listening with me. If you're interested in uplifting a private reading, just follow the links at the end of the video. And I wish you much happy intention in moving forward in January for 2015. Kia kaha, much aroha.